Good morning and welcome back. We're going to be reading out of Joshua today, um, out of the New King James Version. This is my Bible. I love this Bible. I love God, but I love this Bible. Um, Joshua, whoa, go back. Okay, hold on. So as I say this, Joshua is the end period of Exodus. And um, let me get there. So, yeah, Joshua was the end period of Exodus. And I'm about to read to you what it says. At the, um, it says, this is the his, the historical books are Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. Now, it says that Joshua marks the end of the Exodus period. Israel enters the land under a new generation of leaders, conquers the hill conquers the hill country and enters into a great ceremony of covenant in a harsh new time. So Joshua chapter one, I'm going to read as much as I can today for you guys, but it goes Joshua chapter one, verse one, God's commission to Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, Moses' assistant saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, there, now, therefore, arise, go over to the Jordan, you and all your people to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread, up, tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river you've Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea towards towards the going down to, of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for for to this people for to this people you shall divide as inheritance the land which I which I have swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to the law which Moses my servants command you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth and you shall meditate in your day and in day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous oh my neighbor's cutting his grass i thought we was about to get a rainstorm i was like what <laughs> okay let me read that again verse eight the book, the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will, you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And then this is the order to the cross this is the order to the cross the jordan to cross the jordan does that make sense the order to cross the jordan then joshua commanded the office the officers of the people saying pass through the camp and command this people saying prepare for provision for yourselves for within three days you will cross over this jordan to go in and to possess the land which the lord your god is giving you to possess and to Reubenite, and to the Reubenites, the Gad, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manash. Man, yeah, Manash. Joshua spoke, saying, "Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is giving you rest and is giving you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land with Mo with land." which Moses gave you on the side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all your mighty men of valor, and help them. 
Until the Lord has given you brethren, re brethren rest, as he gave you, and they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God is giving them, then you shall return to the land of, to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord servant gave you on the side of the Jordan towards the sun's rise. So, that, so they answered Joshua, saying, All that you command us we will do, and whatever you send, wherever you send us we will go. Just as we heeded Moses in all things, so we will heed you. Only the Lord your God, only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your command and does not heed your words, and all that you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Chapter 2 Now Joshua the son of Nun sent out two men from Achaia Grove to spy, secret, to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of the harlot named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told, it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, men have come tonight from the children of Israel to search out our country. So the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. Then the woman took the two men and hid them. So she said, Yes, the men came for me. The, yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they were from. And it happened as the gates was being shut. When it was dark, that the men went out. Where the men, where the men went, I do not know. Pursue them quickly, for you may overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof and hidden them with the stalks of flax, which she had laid in order of the roof. Then the then the men pursued pursued them by the road by the road to the Jordan to the for, to the fords. And as soon as and as soon as those who pursued him had gone out, they shut the gates. Now before they lay down she came up to <clears throat> Now before they lay down she came up to them on the roof and said to them, I know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of your of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land are fair and faint hearted because of you. For we have heard now the Lord dried up the river of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. And what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were on the other side of the Jordan, Shion and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did, they remain, neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God, he is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath now therefore i beg you swear to me by the lord since i have shown you kindness that you also will show kindness to my father's house and give me a true token and spare my father my mother and my brothers and my sisters and all that i have and deliver our deliver our lives from death so the men answered her our lives for you, if none of you tell the, of our business. I don't know who that is. Okay, hold on. So the men answered her, Our lives for you, for yours, if none of you tell the business of ours, then it shall be, when the Lord has given us the land, that we will deal kindly and truly with you. Then she let them down by a rope, through the window, for her house was on the city wall. She dwelt on the land. And she said to them, Get to the mountains. Let us, least the pursuers meet you. Hide there three days. Until the pursuers have returned. Afterwards, you may go to yours. So the men said to her, We will, believe, we will be blameless of this oath of yours, which you have made us swear. Unless when we come into the land, you bind this line of, sac of scarlet cord in the window through which you let us down. And unless you bring your father and your mother and your brother and all your father's household to your own home. 
So it shall be that whoever goes outside the doors of your house into the streets, his blood shall be on his own head, and we will be guiltless. And whoever is with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head, on our head if a hand is laid on him. And if you tell this business of yours, then we will be free from your oath, which you made us swear. Then she said, according to your words, so be it. And she sent them away and they departed and she bound the scarlet cord in the window. They departed and went to the mountain and stayed there three days until the pursuers returned. The pursuers sought them all along the way, but did not find them. So the two men returned, descended from the mountains and crossed over. And they came to Joshua, the son of Nun, and told him all that had fallen, all that had befallen them. And they said to Joshua, Truly the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands, for indeed all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us. Chapter 3 Then Joshua rose early in the morning, and they set, and they set out from Achaia Grove, and came to the Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and lodged there before, the, before they crossed over. So it was after three days that the officer went through the camp. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the priests, the Levites, the Levites bearing it, then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, and two thousand cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for you have not passed this way before. And Joshua said to them, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua to, spoke to the priest, saying, Oh, please. And the Lord's, wait. Then Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and cross over before the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all of Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. You shall command the priest who bears the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and hear the word the Lord your God. And Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he he will without fail drive out from from before you the Canaanites and the Hedites and the Hevites and the Prezrites and the Gerites, the the Gerashtites and the Amorites and the Jebsites. Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing over before you unto the Jordan. Now therefore take yourselves twenty men from the tribe of Israel, one man from every tribe. And it shall come to pass as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the water of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off, the waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. So it was when the people set out from their camp, to cross over the Jordan with the priest bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the priest. And as those who bore the as those who bore the Ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priest who bore the Ark dipped in the edge of the waters, for the Jordan overflows all its banks during the whole time of the harvest, that the waters which came down from a pond stream stood still and rose in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zaretan. So the water that went down into the sea of the Eberet, the salt sea, failed and were cut off, and the people crossed over opposite crossed over opposite Jericho. And the priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of the land stood from the dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel crossed over on dry ground until all the people had crossed completely over. Now this is 4, chapter 4. And it came to pass when all the people of the... When all the people had completely crossed over the Jordan, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Take for yourselves yourselves twelve men from the people, one man from every tribe, and command them, saying, 
Take for yourselves twelve stones from here, out of the midst of the Jordan, from the place where the where the priest's feet stood firm. You shall carry them over with you and leave them in the lodging place where you lodge tonight. Then Joshua called the twelve men whom he had appointed from the children of Israel, one man from every tribe. And Joshua said to them, Cross over before the ark of the Lord your God into the midst of the Jordan. Each of you take up a stone on his shoulder according to the number of the tribe of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you with your children. Ask in time to come, saying, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall answer them that the water of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord when it came, when it crossed over the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan were cut off, and all, and these stones shall be in memorial in memorial of the children of Israel forever. And the children of Israel did so, just as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones from the midst of the Jordan, as the Lord had spoken to Joshua according to the number of the of the tribes of the children of Israel and carried them over with them to the place where they lodged and laid them down there then Joshua set up 12 stones in the midst of the Jordan in the place where the feet of the priest who bore the ark of the covenant stood and they and there they are to this day so the priest who bore the ark stood in the midst of the Jordan until everything was finished that the Lord had commanded Joshua to speak to the people according to all that Moses had commanded Joshua. And the people hurried and crossed over. Then it, came, then it came to pass, when all the people had completely crossed over, that the ark of the Lord and the priest crossed over in the presence of the people. And the men of Reuben, the men of, God, the men of Gad, and, the half, and half of the tribe of Manasseh crossed over, armed before the children of Israel and Moses as Moses had spoken to them about 40,000 prepared for war crossed over before the before the Lord for battle to the plains of Jericho on that day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they feared him as they had feared Moses all the days of his life then the Lord spoke to Joshua saying Command the priest who bears the ark of the testimony uh, to come up from the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priest, saying, Come up from the Jordan. And it came to pass when the priest who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord had come from the midst of the Jordan, and the sole of the priest, the priest's feet touched the dry land, that the waters of the Jordan returned to their place and overflowed all of its bank as before. Now the people came up from the Jordan on the tenth day on the first of the first month, and they camped in Gil Gilgal Gil Gilgal. I'm horrible with like places and names, y'all. Bear with me. On the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out the Jordan, Joshua set up in Gilgal. 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 Then he spoke to the children of Israel, saying, "When your children ask their father and their fathers in the time to come, saying." What are these stones? Then you shall let your children know, saying, Israel crossed over the Jordan on the dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan before you, the Jordans before you, until you had crossed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up before us until we had crossed over, that all the people of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord, that he is mighty, that you may fear the Lord your God forever. And then this is chapter five. So it was when the king, when the kings and the Amorites who were on the west side of Jericho, or sorry, the west side of the Jordan, and all the kings of the Canaanites who were on, who were by the sea, heard that the Jordan had dried up the water of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we had crossed over, that their hearts melted. And there was no spirit in them any longer because of the children of Israel. At that time, the Lord said to Joshua, Make flint knives for yourself and, crimp, and circumcise the son of Israel again the second time. So Joshua made flint knives for themselves and circumcised the sons of Israel at the hill of the, fort, at the, hill of the foreskins. And this is the reason why Jer 
Josh, this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the people who came out of Egypt who were male, all of the men of war had died in the wilderness on the on the way. After had after they had come after they had come out of Egypt. For all the people who came out had been circumcised, but all the people born in the wilderness on the way as they came out of Egypt had not been circumcised. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people who were man, men of war who came out of Egypt were consumed because they did not obey his voice to the Lord to whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land which the Lord had sworn the Lord had sworn to the fathers that he would give us a land flowing with milk and honey. Then Joshua circumcised their sons whom he raised up from their place. For they were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. So it was when they had finished circumcising all the people that they stayed in their places in the camps until they were healed. Then the Lord said to Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reapproach from, of Egypt from you. Therefore, the name of this place is called Gilgal to this day. Now the children of Israel camped in Gilgal and kept the Passover on the 14th day of the month at twilight on the plains of Jericho and they ate of and they ate of the produce in the land and the day after the Passover unleavened bread and parched grain on the very same day then the manna seized on the day after they had eaten it and eaten then then the produce of the land and the children of Israel no longer had manna but they ate the food of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are, are you for us, for our advisories? So he said, No, but as a commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and say, said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandals off your feet, for this place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. So that is Joshua 1 through 5. Um, I'll be reading 6 through, I guess, 6 through 10 next time. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.